May I come in, sir? Come in, come in. Good morning, sir. Good, Good morning. morning, sir. Good morning, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Please. Have Thank, you. Thank you, sir. You are an electrical engineering student. Yes, sir. Hmm? Yes, sir. 2017. Yes, sir. After that, what are you doing? Sir, after graduation, I have been completely dedicated to civil services preparation. Why such a high dedication? Sir, I think that uh, if I want to join anything, then I should give complete dedication to that particular uh, job or service. So since I have aspired for civil services, I want to give my 100% to this preparation. Is it good for the country? 4 lakh students or 5 lakh students wasting their 5-6 years for this exam. 20 lakh youth years wasted. Is it good? Is it something bad with the exam system or something bad with the psyche of the students? Sir, I think uh, wasted, uh, I beg to differ on this, wasted cannot be an uh, appropriate term. Here I think that uh, civil services preparation itself provide a platform to enhance your personality, which uh, further students in whichever field they go, they can perform better. It uh, helps in expanding our exposure. Uh, so in whichever way our skills are enhanced, we can apply it to whichever field we go further. Do you think that the exposure, that means we are lacking somewhere at our graduation level or post-graduation level, the issues which you think that you are covering now, you should have covered as graduate or a post-graduate? Uh, sir, I think uh, career counselling at an uh, early age is something is what uh, lacking in our education system. If a student is a bit clear about uh, in which field and what are the prospects of that a particular field are, then I think uh, this uh, thing of de de taking decision after graduation in going to a different field can help, uh, can be reduced to a certain extent. If you were so focused about the uh, your uh, aim that you wanted to be a civil servant, yes, sir. why did you choose electrical engineering and then choose geography as your optional subject? Uh, sir, taking geography as an, my optional was a more of a strategic decision due to considerable overlap with the general studies paper. Moreover, covering electrical engineering, which you has a have done graduation also with geography. Uh, yes, sir. I, uh, sir, uh, I was not sure about taking civil services in, as an uh, career option uh, at, at the school level. I decided it at, in my final year of uh, final year of engineering. What made you to decide that, sir? I think uh, the ambit of civil services and the challenges of the civil services is something that attracted me towards <coughs> this services. Uh, moreover, uh, the diverse area in which uh, civil servant work, I think uh, that is one of the reasons which I chose. In which diverse areas in, in audit and account service works? Sorry, sir, I am not aware. About in which this. diverse area the Indian Defence Account Service works or Indian Corporate Law Service works? Sir, I am not aware about Indian Defence uh, Account Services, but uh, Indian Corporate Law Services works in the field of uh, uh, company law. Com company law and uh, sir, the registrar of the companies is... Uh, mm, that is the one area in which they yes, work. Yes sir, it is responsible and for... And how, how is the area diverse? Sir, diversity not in... Uh, sir, I am not privy of the information related to particular services as of now. Hmm. You, you are a student in geography. Yes, what sir. is your take on river linking? Is it good for the environment or bad for the environment? Sir, there are two aspects to river linking. One is inter-basin river linking and second is intra-basin river linking. As far as uh, within the basin is concerned, I think that can be a positive step because it won't affect the overall flow of the basin. But if uh, linking the uh, rivers of, for example, perennial rivers to... The government is thinking of linking Mahanadi with Godavari. Is it a good thing or is it a... Bad thing. Sir, it uh, needs to be um, studied more because uh, both the rivers are peninsular rivers and digging of canals and making the links and testing the economic feasibility of the project uh, requires... What is your view as a geography student? Sir, I think we should first target uh, intra-basin linkages and focus on small techniques like uh, watershed management and uh, uh, managing the basins and then uh, slowly if uh, things permit then we can uh, move to interbasin inter as well gradually. You say Uttarakhand is your home cadre yes, and sir. you don't want to go to the home cadre. Why so? Sir, uh, I, um, I, have, I have lived in Uttarakhand for about 12 years 
and uh, I am open to work in any part of the country. Uh, um, I have since I was also born in MP. I have seen the MP. I have seen MP as a state. Uh, it uh, it is a large state which offers uh, multiple areas of development. So I think since I have been to Uttarakhand, working at some other places would be a bit challenging. That's that is my preference. You would like to work in a place other than Uttarakhand. Not in Uttarakhand. No, sir. I am uh, willing to work uh, anywhere in the country, wherever I am allotted to. Okay. Now, what is what is then? You will be able to work in northeast also. Sir, uh, which whichever place uh, the government thinks fit for me, mm. I am ready to work. What is so uh, significant about the northeastern states? Two points. Sir, one is uh, if I talk about hydroelectric power potential as an electrical engineer, around forty percent of uh, 40% of uh, hydroelectric potential comes from northeast so it has potential to generate energy itself of second its own point. second is sir it's an important linkage to the eastern eastern area uh, with uh, in india has actiest policy in which india is looking to engage with the eastern countries and southeast nation and northeast can be a gateway to that yes yeah, sir so, so, you uh, electrical engineering Tell me how the AC power is stored and how the DC power is stored. Now the biggest challenge is the power storage. Yes, sir. How we can store AC power? How we can store DC power? Sir, as far as storage is concerned, I think the batteries are the only option that is available to us. But battery can can store AC power? No, sir. Battery stores so the then, energy then, in then the form of how chemical. Can you store AC power? DC power agreed battery can store. Yes, sir. How about the AC power? Sorry, sir, I am not able to recall. Okay, uh, but you can think of uh, we have you must have visited particularly in the Uttara Uttarakhand some of the uh, 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 storage, some of the pump storage stations. Yes, sir. Pump storage, hydrogen. A lot of talk is there. You cannot think of these things. Hydrogen power storage system. A lot of talk in the parliament that everything will work on the hydrogen. How a hydrogen can work without mm -hmm. the power storage in the hydrogen? Okay, let us now talk that this. Uh, you have uh, been in Uttarakhand. You have been in Madhya Pradesh. Yes, sir. Why Madhya Pradesh is a power surplus state, and why Uttarakhand is not a power surplus state? Sir, at present our energy mix suggests that uh, majority of the power generation happens uh, through coal. And uh, MP has one of the largest coal field in the form of Singroli. That's and it has also some of the largest power plants as well. Whereas in Uttarakhand, the primary source of electricity generation is uh, hydroelectric power potential, with okay. major major majority of it coming from Tihri Dam, which is not uh, very well developed. Uh, that's why in energy scenario, Madhya Pradesh is an energy surplus, and Uttarakhand is lacking. On okay, seeing your part. geography background also, yes, sir. why geothermal is so bad in mm -hmm. India? Sir, I think for, for first reason is we have not adequately mapped the places where geothermal energy can How be. You say there has been a lot of uh, study, a lot of committees have been made yes, during two hundred, two thousand, and etc. So you can't take that it has not been mapped. Sir, I am not saying it has not been, been mapped. It has not been adequate. The majority of the sources are not available. With latest being uh, this Puga village in Ladakh has been uh, um, proposed to be developed. And I think that technological developments and uh, distribution related to okay, geothermal energy also. Technology is one of the factor. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, tell me uh, your view on the uh, delicensing electricity board, discoms. Delicense yes, the discoms electricity boards. What's your views? Yes, sir. sir are I think are we in the right direction or are we in uh, wrong directions? Sir, I think uh, it has both pros and cons. With uh, benefits being uh, right now, discoms are in very huge debt. So, with better, with uh, adequate management and with uh, delicensing, that debt can be some somewhat reduced. But at the same time, there are many areas where uh, power is being required. Um, power distribution at rural areas is being required, though it is not profitable. But I think uh, by delicensing that motive should also be kept in mind that you see yeah, it is told that delhi is one of the delicensed uh, distribution company yes sir well managed people say yes, minimum sir. power cut is in india in delhi yes sir what is your view 
sir i think uh, it needs to be studied more that whether okay, it can okay be. okay last question you tell me yes, a lot of talk is there that carbon shortage and thermal power will is going to collapse now it's going to shut down completely in the nation such situations are reported in the media yes, sir. why such a big carbon shortage sorry such a coal shortage why such a big coal shortage in india although all coal india says that production has increased Yes, sir. So, coal India also also says that India has sufficient coal for the next two hundred years. Yes. The issue, uh, the rumors related to the shortage of coal was uh, temporarily on a, at a particular point. The today is the coal shortage. Pardon, Even today sir. there is a news of the coal shortage. Sir, it's I think related more to the management side of. Uh, Do you feel that our our managers are failing? No, sir. Not our managers. I think failing? coordination uh, uh, needs. We need better coordination. Something, re something related to, to export and import. Any idea? Sir, we are we are we are importing coal. Yes, any sir. any impact of coal import on this scenario? Sir, we are importing some high quality coal from other countries. Okay. Uh, Ashwarya, uh, do you think that Uttar Pradesh is moving toward Uttam Pradesh? If it is so, then why? Yes, sir. I think Uttar Pradesh is on the path mm -hmm. of becoming the Uttam Pradesh mm -hmm. uh, because it is now uh, attracting more and more industries. If I compare, for example, East UP and West UP, for example, mm -hmm. West UP has been uh, attracting investment, has become prosperous for the last decade, and the there is ha there has been mm -hmm. also a gradual shift towards Eastern UP as well. So, with rise in, uh, in industrialization, there has been also a rise in employment. as well so if such trend continues on a sustainable basis then i think it is on the path of becoming the uttam pradesh this is one reason okay yes, sir okay fine mm, what is your take on bulldozer activity nowadays in this uttar pradesh sir if the uh, encroachment is illegal mm -hmm. then government does have the right to uh, demolish such buildings but uh, a uh, proper uh, procedure of law is uh, should be followed for example uh, in this case it is being alleged alleged that uh, 15 days notice was not given before demolition so i think such things should be taken care of okay fine uh there is a discussion on um, making uttar pradesh into three different states what is your take on this Yes, sir. Uttar Pradesh is a very large state mm -hmm. and uh, with huge population. Mm -hmm. With uh, and it, Uttar Pradesh has also seen uh, some relative deprivation with respect to each other, like like I just highlighted with respect to West UP and East UP. So, if uh, the division is based uh, on administrative ease as well as economic development and regional development, then I think it's a positive step. But if it is on uh, purely on the basis of some political move, then uh, I think it is not good. Okay, you are from Bareilly. Mm, sir, I am presently living in Bareilly. Okay, fine. My father is in a transferable job, fine. so I am presently so living. Bareilly uh, is related to film industry. How mm. it is related? Yes, sir. Sir Priyanka Chopra is from Bareilly. Mm -hmm. She was Miss World in the year two thousand. Mm -hmm. So sorry, Any, sir. Uh, Miss Universe in two thousand. Anything else apart from Priyanka Chopra? Because sir, there are many songs yes, related to Bareilly. Yeah, okay. Uh, that is being popular in the Bollywood industry. Have you yes, heard the term? This is my last question. Yes, sir. Agriculture tourism. Sir, I don't <clears throat> exactly know, but I have heard about some startups being developed in the agriculture tourism, mm -hmm. in which uh, many agriculture products are uh, many agriculture products are grown such that it attracts more and more tourists, as well as. Uh, Sorry, sir. I am unable to recall at this point. Of time. Shreya, from yes, which field should I ask you a question related with your state, current affairs, electrical engineering, geography, hobby? What would you like? Sir, I would prefer my hobbies. Hobbies. Okay. Yes, sir. So, who is known as a uh, uh, little chess grandmaster of the world? Sorry, sir. I am not aware. Vishwanath Anand. How many awards, uh, civilian awards, he got? Sir, first of all, he is the first recipient of Rajiv Gandhi Khel Ratna Award when it was instituted. Mm -hmm. He is also the first Grand Master of India. Mm -hmm. And how many Padma Awards? Sorry, sir, I am not aware. I think all three. Yeah, check. कर लेना. Yes, sir. I'll, 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 I'll read. I'll read. One more question. All three. 
I'll read I about think it. so. You can check that. Anyway, where are we going to have uh, chess Olympiad in the country? So, 44th chess Olympiad, which was supposed to be held in Ukraine, has now been shifted to Chennai. Chennai. Yes, when, when it is to be held? You are sir, right. in July and August 2022. Okay. And uh, who is... Uh, Internet, who has got international chess title? Very, very small boy. Uh, 14, 15 years old. International chess title. He has got it recently. Sir, it's 73rd Grand Master of India, Bharat Subramanyam. Uh, no, no, no. From Chennai only. Very, very small child. 14, 15 years old. Anyway, what next? Uh, hobby, what next? Current affairs? Sir, as you please, sir. Okay, let, let it be current affairs. Yes, so, which is the article 26 of UN Charter? Do you know? Sir, I have heard about it, but I am not able to recall it. Okay, it reflects pro-disarmament sentiments. Okay? Yes, sir. Now, you tell me whether at all UNSC is fulfilling its primary objective mentioned in the article 26 of UN Charter. Sir, uh, United Nation was... Uh, established to avoid the third world war mm -hmm. and in which one of the component was it can lead towards disarmament mm -hmm. but there are some issues related to it because uh, for example in case of uh, nuclear proliferation treaty they have given exception to the p5 nations uh, which india has also highlighted at various platforms so i think if they are moving for complete disarmament then it should be universal in nature and such exceptions should be not given to certain countries. So, I think here it is not up to the mark. Okay, you are talking about those five nations yes, who have got veto power. Mm. So, now there is a move that uh, United Nations General Assembly may move for uh, taking away the veto power of uh, Russia. Yes, sir. So, what, uh, what uh, do you think that India should do in this regard? Sir, I think the decision of India should be based on its national interest. Mm -hmm. uh, so, in, uh, where could it be its national interest? Uh, sir, I think that needs to be studied carefully. Can we say like that, that if at all veto power is withdrawn, then it should be withdrawn from all five countries. Yes, sir. And if that is done, if that is India's point of view, then how will it help India? Sir, I think that will bring India at par with other nations because India has also grown very much since independence and is at par with many of the nations who had got presently the veto power. So, I think uh, <coughs> the removing veto powers from all others would, uh, rise the, uh, would, ra would raise the status of India. And then it can become one of the permanent members Sir, because if, uh, it was objected to only by one nation, which was that? China, sir. China. Yes, sir. So, if at all veto power is taken from all of them, then India can also become the permanent member of the right. Security Council. Can we say like that? So, India should go for that, that if at all this power is taken away, then it should be taken away from all the five countries. And then there could be majority decision. Yes, sir. Is it the right approach? Do you think so? Yes, sir. I think it can be one perspective. Uh, that if at all the veto power is taken is removed, away, then it should not be taken away only from Russia. It should be taken away from all the five nations. And mm -hmm. then how the decision will be taken? So then new Based reforms, on majority. Yes, sir. Then new reforms can be come and uh, new distinctions can be made on the basis of the present status. But since uh, you, uh, sir, one more point I want to like to add here. Mm -hmm. So since uh, this was given to avoid con world conflicts, mm -hmm. uh, veto power was given to each powerful nation at that point of time to avoid a situation like third world war. Mm -hmm. So I think, sir, if uh, such scenario comes that if veto power is at all taken from all the nations, then some I think some new structure should also be in place to. No, in that case, majority decision can be taken. It could be taken only by the permanent members, or it could be taken by the permanent members plus ten more members who are elected for two years term. Yes, sir. Sir, in that case, I think uh, it is a indeed a very good perspective. But I think consensus building here can be an issue. Mm -hmm. And if we are able to build consensus among the nations, then I think it's a, it will be a very positive. Okay, state. related with geography, what is Al Nino and how does it affect the climate of our country? Yes, sir. Sir, El Nino is a climatic aberration in which trade winds are weakened. 
due to which uh, the walker cell cir circulation is also weakened it negatively impacts our indian monsoon okay thank you mm, okay your hobby was chess chalo one question from the chess yes, how many squares total square in a chess board so 206 how you counted it what the formula you used it mm, sir there are 8 cross 8 uh, Achha, that way you, you did it yes sir okay I think it comes 2004 or 204. You so come that I'll, way also. I'll, I'll look. I'll look. Okay. At it, anyway, you are an electrical engineer. Yes, if the human body got a thermal burn or electric burn, which is more serious and why? Pardon, sir. May I have the question repeated? If a human get a thermal burn or an electric burn, which burn is serious and why? Sir, electric burn will be more serious. Why it will be more serious? Sir, thermal burn will be confined to a particular area where the thermal yes. burn has taken place. Whereas, since body is made up of our neurons, electric burn can affect our whole body. Okay, let us come on Nepal. Lot of happening in Pakistan, Sri Lanka. But we have generally avoided Nepal. What is Millennium Challenge Corporation? What is the issue of the Nepal? Why the people are opposing this? Sorry, sir, I am not aware. Have you got some idea of Millennium Challenge Corporation? Mm, yes, sir. Okay. You read about it. Yes, what is oil bonds? Because when Sita Ramanji was speaking in Lok Sabha, she said that prices of oil rising because the last government issued the oil bonds. Yes, sir. So, what are those bonds? Some idea? Sorry, sir, I am not aware about it. I have okay, you come from Uttarakhand. Yes, sir. What is the report of Migration Rehabilitation Commission? Because in Tihri, 98,000 or 1 lakh people, they have migrated and more than 50 villages are ghost villages. Yes, sir. So, what is the report of Migration Commission? Yes, sir. There has been migration and poor, as you pointed out, such, as, such districts has reported negative population growth as well. Mm -hmm. And plain district like Udham Singh Nagar has also witnessed yes. population rise by 33%, as large as 33%. What is the main cause of uh, migration? Sir, because pro uh, economic prospects are not very well developed in the hilly areas, as well as due to disasters, many disasters, uh, the, con the consistent development that has been taking place has also taken place. Okay, but we have introduced Narega. Why it is not being successful? People get the job through Narega. Sir, but uh, for Narega, some projects uh, should also be... Mm, well developed. No, they are building the roads, etc. Sir, so, but uh, as compared to plains, the prospects in the hilly areas are comparatively less. Surely, even then. Now you tell me about Pakistan. Which party is ruling Pakistan? Sir, majority Punjab part in the Pakistan is more dominant. No, which party is ruling in Pakistan? Shaiba Sharif is from a political party. Yes, sir. Which is the party of Shaiba Sharif? It was the news of yes, the sir, paper, yes. current I am asking. Sir, I am not able to recall it. This okay, point. which was the party which was ousted? I mean, of Ibran Khan party. Sir, I think it was Tehreek Insaf. So I am not able to recall it. Yes, Tehreek Insaf, you are right. Yes, but sir. You, can you tell me difference? What is the difference in Tehreek Insaf and Tehreek Labek? Sorry, sir, I am not aware. I am asking only current affairs which yes, made the headlines in the newspaper. Anyway, you read about it. Yes, sir, I will read, read about it, sir. Okay, Ishwai, you are son of the chief manager. Yes, sir. Some of the banks failed recently. A few banks failed. Do you think that the RBI is at fault? Because that is the regulator. Sir, I think RBI cannot be completely blamed for this. It, uh, there are many norms, there are many autonomy that are that is being given to banks. And internal management of bank is also itself uh, responsible for not managing the situation very well. So I think uh, the lack of uh, coordination among the banks and the regulator and the internal management due to all these things, many banks are failing. Okay, we'll call you after a minute. Thank you, sir. Okay, thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank, thank you, sir. May I come in? Come, come. <coughs> Please. Yes, sir. How did the interview go? So this was my first ever interview. Achha. Yes, sir. First ever mock that has Achha. gone. Achha. First so, ever mock. Yes, sir. Then you have done very well. 
I, I think I was little bit unprepared as far as current affairs was concerned. Yeah. And some framing of statements was also not appropriate. I will work more upon it. Yes. Yeah, you have time. If it is first mock, then yes, we could expect that. But yes, then you uh, you you have a good personality. You are speaking well. You are able to maintain the smile also. Yes. To some extent, on the despite if you are not even answering, then also you are able to maintain the smile and cool. Yes. That is really very good. Yes. But yes, you will have to read on the answer and framing, especially framing the answer. Yes, sir. Okay, and be brief. As far as possible, be brief. You did not go. You were not longish, but yes, otherwise sir. also you should be brief. precise, more precise. You should be precise. Yes, sir. And, and improve your content because yes, sir. when we dis we did not discuss electrical engineering, yes sir, so they are less likely to be discussed at that board also. Yes sir. But we have given you the so social interface of electrical engineering. Yes sir. Go, go and have some, some sort of content. So Actually, be... this will be, for example, I would have asked grid, national grid. Yes sir. Issue. On electrical engineering, something connected to now AC and DC storage is a normal thing. Yes, sir. Rather, the major problem is if AC AC storage can happen, then might be the electricity problem can be resolved. To some yes, sir. They say. Why yes, so? Do therefore mm -hmm. this is an important topic. Even, even yes. geothermal. It is the important topic. Yes, sir. Okay. And you must be prepared about your deaf. And he is asking from deaf yes, electrical sir. engineering student or geography. Yes, sir. Okay, river linking also, your answer should be more, even sometimes it can be more mature also in the sense you cannot criticize the government to a greater extent. Yes, sir. Say this Mahanadi and Godadi, yes, sir. they are thinking it is, they have just gone for DPR. They are just studying it. Mm -hmm. They are gone for DPR. Yes, okay. sir. Any question from your side? Sir, was my sitting posture and appearance yeah, is yeah, fine? Yeah, yeah, excellent. Excellent, excellent. Yes, sir. That's no fine. Ashwari, are you looking for some magazine for this? Current affairs and this? No, sir, I am reading uh, at not any magazine. No, I am covering it. Some magazine. Yes, and sir. I will advise you because I got the feedback of the student here also. <coughs> yes, sir. Mint is a newspaper which Mint. gives every day a, a, a solution and a problem. Yes, sir. Both in the paper. You purchase somewhere Mint, Mint. or in Which is Hindustan, Hindustan Times business paper. Yes, yes sir. Related yes, sir. with. Current की magazine इनकी भी अच्छी है। Yes sir. Ladies के लिए hard copy नो। Yes sir. इनसे भी ले सकते। Soft copy में मत जाओ। थोड़ा आता है soft copy में ना tablet पे देखने में। Sir, इतना news है power crisis सर coal coal crisis पे आपने पढ़ा उसको उसको उसमें से मिलेगा coal crisis तो इसमें सर I was not able to frame answer I need a bit electricity problem is major problem now their electricity cut all over the country is seven to eight hour even Delhi is facing the cuts Delhi areas are facing the cuts so therefore you must be prepared and that is your area electrical engineering yes sir that is you must be prepared for yes sir Electric vehicle, yes. hydrogen vehicle, hybrid yes. vehicle, yes. 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 all the best. All the best. Give more mocks. Yes. Thank you, sir. All the best. Thank you, sir. Don't go only for the standard institution. Yes, Thank you, sir. Right. Thank you, sir.